You see this video? I just finished that one up. It's rendering right now. It is right now 5.36 in the morning. People wake up at this time of day and I still need to go to bed. At 2 p.m. I'm meeting my personal trainer for a really intense one-on-one -on -one session. Which I'm gonna vlog some of it, I, I guess. But uh, more of the story that I'm telling you guys right now. I'm gonna be extremely tired tomorrow. Which is today, which is whenever the vlog continues. I apologize for this. Uh, you guys probably lost me somewhere whenever I... You guys probably lost what I'm talking about. So I, I, I lost myself. You guys got me? No? Great. Let's start off the day. Time for some breakfast. So today I'm meeting up with my personal trainer. Mm. That's gonna be happening in like um, one or one and a half hour from now. I'm gonna have leg day today. I'm not looking forward to this. What up? <laughs> <laughs> That's my personal trainer. Kakuna Ratana. We actually finally got the shirt. Uh, some of you guys have seen this shirt online. You guys tweeted it out to me. I decided to get this shirt and I love it. Kakuna Ratata. Um, in case you guys are curious about the uh, what it is from, it's from The Lion King. One of my favorite movies of all time. Um, I'm gonna go outside in a second here. Uh, I'm getting ready to get to grab some stuff. I'm really excited because today I'm gonna level up to level 38. And that's really cool, but uh, yeah, we're gonna have to, you know, get some experience before we get into that. It's really late already. Tomorrow, I actually planned a really awesome trip. I think you guys are gonna like it, and it's also gonna enable a way for me to actually hatch my, uh, or, or maybe get my final egg, but uh, we'll have to see about that tomorrow. Let's focus on today first. Uh, let's go outside. Alright, so I've arrived at the lure spot right now. It pretty much looks like this. For those of you guys who live nearby, it is called Rijnkade in Arnhem. And I'm gonna go ahead and activate all of the lures, which I usually do. So this is one of it. I actually needed to throw away a couple of potions because unfortunately, if your backpack is full, you just don't have the ability to buy any more items in the store or anything like that. I'm pretty sure that does happen to a lot of you guys out there. But it does happen to me from time to time, especially when I'm buying lucky eggs or whenever I'm buying lures. This one is actually the bridge over there. For some odd reason, that is the poker stop. Honestly, got no idea why, because the, the bridge would actually be right around there, even though I'm standing right here in between these poker stops. This is a little nice area, it's a memorial site for the battle in the city during World War II. And then the final lure that I usually activate is just around that bus stop over there. And usually from this spot, standing over here, I can already reach it. So what we're doing is when we're standing, when we're sitting on the car in the parking space here, we can actually access all four lures, or at least the Pokemon that drop out of these lures. Now what I'm gonna be doing in the future is actually walk around here at all of these Pokestops here. There's another Hunter there. I'm gonna go and catch it. What I'm gonna be doing at all of these lures, I'm actually going to go ahead and try to activate them all at the same time and see how much experience we're actually going to be able to get. Now, fair warning here, 
my one hand skill throw is not really that great. I still need to practice. I don't know how Trainer Tips does this, but I can, man. Like, I cannot get Andy Curve and the straight throw. I can kind of flick it with my thumb, but I, I no way am able to get the curve and the flick at the same time. Ooh, I seriously thought that was that was almost an accident even. But it turned out to be great. And this time I actually have it. Let's go back to the car, it's really cold. All right, so I'm literally about to level up right now. I still need to uh, catch two more Pokemon before I'm actually there, which is really insane. Uh, just thinking about the idea of actually being level 38, only needing two more levels to be maximum level in Pokemon Go is pretty insane. And um, I'm gonna go with Ghastly for this one. So if I catch this Ghastly, I'm actually going to be level 38. And for this one, I'm actually going to use a Raspberry and I'm gonna throw a Ultra Ball because that way it can happen. There we go, we actually got a great. I've been waiting for this moment. Um, somehow I always think that I'm gonna be getting better rewards than you actually are, but the rewards uh, are gonna be pretty bad. And what's gonna be pretty bad after this is the amount of experience that we need to go to level 39. Okay, so here we are. And boom, level 38. What? I got 20 Ultra Balls, 20 Max Potions and everything. So we actually made it to level 38, which is really insane. I need to make a screenshot of this. Ah, it's okay. And I think I actually took a screenshot here, but we need three million experience right now uh, to level up to level 39. And after that, we need five more to level up to level 40. And uh, being level up, I actually have the ability to power up a couple of Pokemon here. So just to showcase to you guys, I'm going to be powering up my Vaporeon twice to see what it's going to be. And as you guys can see, it, the power up button actually disappeared completely. So level 38 is the maximum level you can actually power up your Pokemon to. And it kind of sucks. I, I kind of wish I, you had the ability to do it more than this. But this is the maximum Vaporeon you can have in the game. 2776. With the best moveset at the same time as well. Welcome back guys. So we are home. Or I'm home. And it's late. And this is the final part of the video I need to edit. And actually record. So that's what I'm doing right now. Hope you guys enjoy the vlogs. Uh, tomorrow is going to be crazy. Once again, tomorrow is going to be really cool. Eevee Boy is making a return. Hope you guys are looking forward to that, but we have a couple of Pokemon that we can actually power up at this point because we are level 38. Now, I, I want to make a little bit of a, a, 
a rant, I guess. Um, I really think it is stupid that at level 38, you only have the ability to power up a Pokemon once. And that's the maximum. Your power up button just disappears. Like, this Gyarados right now is at its max. I cannot power it up again. This is the maximum it's going to be. So it makes me wonder, like, why do I save a of the Stardust if you cannot do that at level 40, you know? So, just, yeah, yeah that's just my, my point of frustration here. I need to um, actually heal up this uh, Flareon right here. But it's kind of cool, you know, reaching the point where you, you actually max everything out. But then, the, the question is, why would you, and this is really cool, 2600, why would you level up from level 38 to 39 or 39 to 40 i completely understand but 39 that's what's the point in it like at this point i'm at 66 percent of the way to max that means i my lifetime i still need to do 33 percent more which is 8 million experience in order to max myself out in this game and that on itself is honestly a, a little bit mind-blowing i gotta say like it's um it it kind of it kind of dismotivates me. Not gonna lie, it kind of dismotivates me because I think it is stupid. I can actually power this one up as well. Um, but yeah, that's just my my point of thought here. Also, uh, I thought initially whenever this Halloween event started up, um, that the case was going to be that uh, there's going to be more spawns out there, and that is not the case at all. Um, what is the case is that all of the regular spawns have been replaced by event spawns. Uh, and from time to time I still see a Pidgey, but I'm kind of missing my Pidgeys because, well, they provide the most experience uh, for me. So what else can we... We can actually power up this Dragonite right now, but it's been in the gym for the past, like, three weeks now, I think. Like, it's not coming out there and anytime soon, which, which kind of sucks. I can actually show you guys the gym, I guess. Uh, this gym over here. I think this gym over here in the distance is... No, actually, it's it's a little bit further down the road. But I'm in this gym as well, uh, right here with this Dragonite. I actually kind of want to power up this Dragonite as well right now. Because, I mean, I have the ability to do so. I can also make another Dragonite very, very soon. Which is going to be quite interesting. I have a Dratini somewhere here. Which I think I'm going to power up. Where is it? It's not this one. It is not this one. It is this one. Uh, 93%. I can actually uh, power this one up as well and evolve this one. So um, I think I'm going to actually evolve this one into a Dragonite very soon. I just need a little bit more candy in order for me to make that happen. And also, I think I'm going to be powering up this Blastoise. Although I'm not sure of this right now because it does have the best offensive moveset. So that's really cool. But at the same time, I also kind of want to, you know, preserve my, um, I want to kind of preserve my Stardust uh, for whenever Generation 2 comes around the corner. To give you guys a little update, I almost doubled the distance walked with Charmander after yesterday, so I'm pretty happy with that. I expect to get a whole lot more distance on this Charmander tomorrow, so that's going to be really exciting. Uh, and Go Plus stopped working throughout the end of the day. And I don't know what it is. I don't know if you guys noticed the same thing. Uh, but Goblus stopped working for me and both my friend at the same time. So that tells me that something is wrong on Niantic's part. There's no way ever that both Goblus has stopped working at the same time. Because they both ran out of battery. Because I didn't have the indication that it actually ran out. Now that we're level 38, I kind of want to go over the medals to showcase a little bit to you guys what exactly it is that we got right now. So first off, we got Kanto, uh, 142 Pokemon in the Pokedex. I still need to do Pokemon Go World Tour. Need to go get that Farfetch'd, that uh, Kangaskhan. And of course, need to get me the Taurus. So I'm doing that in the future. Over here, Collector, we actually surpassed 20,000 catches in Pokemon Go. Uh, <laughs> I actually can get 10 of these medals right now at this point, which is insane. Over here, Scientist, evolve over 4,000 Pokemon right here. Hatching, uh, 634 hatches. I know people have more. A backpacker, we actually have about the exact same amount. Well, we have a little bit more Pokestops spun than we caught Pokemon, which is pretty crazy. Before, it used to be the other way around. This time around, backpacker actually surpassed collector. 
Gym battles, 1700. I feel I should be doing more gym battles, but I haven't really been doing that. And uh, recently, this is my latest golden uh, golden medal that I got. Uh, Tiny Rattadas. We actually got 300 exactly of these. So, actually made me kind of happy. Uh, Jogger, 563 kilometers. Uh, giant Magic Arbs. We still need quite a bit for these. And then, moving on here, Ace Trainer. Gonna be powering up very soon as well. And Pikachu fan, well, Pikachus. I need to find more Pikachus, obviously. And I almost have every single golden medal when it comes down to the typing. Uh, the one that I'm missing is fighting types. We still need uh, almost 100 for those. Rock types, we should be able to get this one. I th is, is, is it a, No, it's actually ground type, which we're gonna be... Rock type's gonna be hard. Rock type's gonna... <laughs> Okay, uh, steel type is really tough as well because uh, it's basically magnemite only and magneton Dragon Tamer, I'm getting there. Uh, Dratini, obviously. Skier, uh, I hope during Christmas we're gonna be getting more of these but uh, Shelder and Gloister I think are the two that we need in order to get these and yeah, that's that's basically all there is to it. So I want to know from you guys in the comment section down below. I'm gonna give you guys a quick brief overview of the Pokemon uh, that you guys are seeing right now. Uh, on most of these Pokemon, you actually see the IV behind it if they're interesting. Um, tell me in the comment section down below which one I should power up and I might consider it. I'm thinking about maybe making Snorlax a buddy, but this one doesn't really have a really great moveset. A uh, Lick and Body Slam is more of an offensive type. I do have a defensive one, which is uh, actually in a gym, I, th I think. This one. Zen Hatbot and Earthquake is actually a very decent moveset for sure. Uh, so I can power this one up whenever I get it back. Um, other than that, uh, I do have a Lapras. Uh, which which one is it? It is uh, Actually, it is this one. This one has, has 15 attacks. So it is amazing for attacking. Uh, but it's very, very bulky. Even though it's only 66% IV. Um, I already maxed out Golem. Executor, Victory Bell, I can actually max out. I'm not sure what the IV of this one is. And then I have a whole bunch of other Pokemon which are like Scyther, 91%. Uh, this Needle King with the best moveset, I can actually max this one out as well. So I just want to hear you guys' opinion on this. This, this Charizard is not going to be maxed out. It doesn't have a great moveset at all. And uh, at this Blastoise, I can actually also uh, do this one. This one actually has the best defensive moveset, I think. So, yeah, I'm gonna leave it up to you guys. Tell me in the comment section down below which one you want me to power up. And that's gonna be doing it for this video. So be sure to stay tuned. Tomorrow, once again, we got more egg hatchings. More 10 kilometer egg hatchings. This time around, we got eight. So be sure to be on the lookout for that. That in mind, just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, this has been Reverse for Pokemon Go. I'm gonna be signing off, and I'll see you guys back again tomorrow with another Pokemon Go vlog. Thank you.